and you've expressed some interest about our resident um, peculiar individual, Wings of Redemption. <laughs> you're, you're interested in perhaps doing some sort of series about him or, or at least learning more about him. So if you have any questions... Um, well, yeah, I, I, th this is a fantastic opportunity for me. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I'd never heard of him before, uh, but for some reason it was in my recommended video feed, and so I was like, well, I wonder what this is. It was a compilation video. There are a lot of <laughs> compilation videos I've come to find out. So I'm watching this video, and I was like, well, how, could the, how bad could it be? Boy, was I in for a treat. Uh, I've never seen a man more miserable with his position in life than Wings of Redemption. It was every video I watched, and I watched maybe... 50 of them. Just, just <laughs> awestruck. Just, just awestruck by it. Who says, uh, repeatedly, uh, the, the traits that I noticed, uh, you know, maybe it's a gimmick, I don't think it is, uh, is I hate my life, I hate video games, I hate Call of Duty, I hate uh, Rainbow Six, I need my subs, if I don't get enough, if I don't get two subs this hour, there's going to be hell, you get three <laughs> minutes of commercials. Um, you know, just, just watching this go on and on and on, and and it, it, the weird thing is I can draw two comparisons, right? Uh, the first is, I think most people would go to, would be DSP. Uh, Dark you know, side film. I, I don't think DSP is this bad from it's what not. I've been thinking. Uh, the other comparison is somebody I knew. Uh, was a really early on kind of big uh, video game YouTuber, Armic21. Uh, Armic21 had a large audience, uh, kind of started to fall on hard times, got really angry, did a lot of drunk streams and stuff like that, hated what he was doing. Uh, but there is, you know, he's kind of the story of the light at the end of the tunnel. He, he took a step back. He said, you know what? This is ridiculous. Got a job, got a really nice job, met a girl, fell in love, got married to her, uh, bought a house. And now he's, he's doing his own thing. He's got a very happy life. Good for him. Uh, and so I look at somebody like wings. Who's like, I hate my life. I hate what I do. I hate what I do. I, I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm thinking, well, why are you doing it? Because I, I know that answer. people can walk away. Oh, go ahead. I'd love to hear this. <laughs> Wings feels like, because of his weight, right? Wings is a guy who probably can't stand up for more than 60, 90 seconds in a row, that most doors are closed to him, that the only avenue available is streaming games and getting the surgery. So that is his like window to normalcy. Oh, the surgery. See, now that's a topic I wanted to touch on, because I get the feeling Wings we have is a, a sort of person that's never going to get the surgery. Oh, you're on never, my side of this bet. Never, <laughs> ever going to get that surgery. Kyle uh, and I lost this bet. Or we're yeah, going to so lose it. Yes, the, yes. Here's my take on it. Um, Wings, he lives in Conway, South Carolina. That's something that he says loud and proud all the time, so it's not like I doxed him. And he rarely, rarely, rarely leaves his town, right? That's a very uncommon thing for him. He hardly leaves his house, right? This is... Can I interject? I would I would guess that he has left the town of uh, that he lives in six times in his lifetime. I wouldn't bet against that. You know, he's really that much of a recluse. Yes. yes, not not necessarily a recluse because like like I suppose he socializes with a very small group of individuals within his circle, uh, and it's not that he doesn't want to go out to a restaurant with a girl or anything like that. He's a homebody uh, who feels very uncomfortable out of his shell of protection. And his mother is very important to him as sort of a safety blanket and figure. She needs to be close by. Yes. Yeah. His 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 family is he's super super tight with, but and and he's yeah like like Kyle says, you know, he has a, a little circle of real life friends. They they come and go and leave the show, but that he's just not an explorer. He's the opposite of an explorer. He, he very much leaves his comfort zone the minute he leaves practically his block. Well, so, could, you, could you could you call it exploration though? Just go, going out to the local grocery store. I mean, that's making it sound like some grandiose adventure he's going on. That's it's like an everyday thing. Every you should day have. Has to do. Yeah. So so I, just to give like the broad strokes of this gentleman, he was mm -hmm. he was quite big in the in the days of Call of Duty commentary. I don't. Are you familiar with Call of Duty commentaries? And yeah. what a big scene that was at one point. He was one of the first, and by I mean like one of the first twenty five people on the planet who did it. And at that time, it really didn't matter about the quality of your content as much as it did the quantity of your content because it was a limited supply of it out there. Mm -hmm. Today, you can go on YouTube and find endless hours and hours of this stuff. But back then, especially if you wanted late-breaking, newest COD content, there were only a handful of guys who were doing it, and he was one of them. And so he, he became quite big in that sphere. He was making... At the time, he was making much more money than Woody or I. Woody and I would, we would, you know, we'd count up our money that we had earned at the end of the month and be like, ah, man, I, maybe I'll earn this much by the end of the 5, year. It's like, oh, shit. a year. 
Yeah, it was like, yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, it's it's like ah, oh, this is a, this is a fun hobby. I basically get my video games for free, sort of sort of thing that we were doing. Wings was making ten thousand dollars a month at this early juncture, and we were blown away by it. You know, and to live in his income area, um, and to have his history of low income, it was like one of us making a hundred thousand dollars a month out of nowhere. It was life changing to him and like any and like many lottery winners it really made him a completely different person in a lot of ways he he splurged that money around he he, he spent it on vehicles and uh on on ladies he's he's had several girlfriends that were part of his youtube channel and uh and, and the money all he, he he invested into a restaurant with his mother and uh, there were many ventures like that that he, he he got into financing a call of duty team for a while and, you know, things sort of petered out after a while when the Call of Duty thing took off. And now there's literally thousands of people doing exactly what he does, but better. Not only are they better at the game, but they're cutting edge with their audio, with their video, with with um, the, quali the quality the of their videos. You know, there are guys who are spending four hours for every minute of content they're putting up. You know, the guys who are like breaking down the weapons in Call of Duty and breaking down all sorts of tips and tricks. Wings, on the other hand, on a busy day would make 11 videos in a day, right? So you can imagine that these are kind of just spit them out, not as not as great as the competition. No, the, the, these were pulled from his streams, right? That that was my yes. understanding. Uh, he do a stream stuff. and then... Yes, he has segued into a Twitch streamer because, as he says, the troll channels, uh, which you watched about 50 which of their I videos. watched quite a bit of, yeah. Yes, he believes that the troll channels have affected the YouTube algorithm in such a way that his YouTube channel is worthless. Now, that's just a bunch of silliness because it's not as if anyone was is out there searching Wings of Redemption looking for him for Call of Duty content. That's not how it works. You get discovered via those troll channels, if anything, at this point. If he were regularly up uploading, then people would segue someone like you would have ended up on his channel watching some of his content, and if he was putting his best foot forward on his channel, you would say, oh, well, he's not all that bad. Look at him. Here he is with his grandmother sitting there having a nice conversation. Here he is cooking. Here he is going for a walk. He's trying to better himself. But there's none of that content because he's completely given up on YouTube. Only a Twitch streamer now. Now, he's been raising money for, let's call it six months now, for the surgery, as he calls it. And it was very vague at the beginning. It was just bariatric surgery. You know, there's a couple of different kinds, but that's neither here nor there. They, in the United States, they cost about twenty thousand dollars, roughly speaking, and, and uh, in Mexico, they cost six or seven thousand dollars, roughly speaking. And he has had enough money to do it in both locations, back to back. For a long time now. Back to back. He could have a pair. If he had another <laughs> belly, he could go to the U.S., swing by Mexico, and come home. Absolutely. He, 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 has, he has reached his goal several times now. And, and people continue to donate and everything. Um, yeah, if he had multiple stomachs like a farm animal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he, oh, I'm ruminating a little bad today. Yeah. But, but he, he keeps putting the surgery off. And his most recent... When we made the bet, Woody and I, about whether he would get the surgery this year or not, I said absolutely he will because the last update I had gotten from the Wings Redemption twi Twitch streams was got my passport, um, I've got Dr. Martinez, I've got, uh, I I've got a, an appointment, I've got this, I've got that, I've got the money, we're set here. And then the next day he's like, ah, but I went and saw a doctor here in the U.S. and she says, I might, my heart not, might not be healthy. And it's like, of course your heart is going to That's the excuse strain. He's going to pull out every... The, the interesting thing, he's like a weird amalgamation of different characters. Uh, you know, in regards to the weight loss, I, I'd compare it to maybe like Boogie. Boogie talked for years about wanting to lose weight before he finally kind of went through with it, you know, and he got the surgery and he started trying to do it. Mm -hmm. But there seemed to be at least some motivation there to do it. But with Wings, it seems like... I, I, I saw some uh, these compilation videos. They touched on it, and one of his excuses early on was, "I don't have a passport. I can't go get a passport because my mom needs to take me, or something like that." And then it was, "How angry would you guys be if I if I didn't do it because I'm worried about Mexican doctors, or you know, how angry would you be if I delayed it because I need to do it here instead?" It's like any any way out that he can find, and with the algorithm thing too, and the troll channels, I, did something happen? I'd almost place it like three to five weeks back. Because I, that seems to be a lot of the compilations really started taking off then. Did he do something extra ridiculous 
three to five weeks back. Because... Was it you, Kyle? Oh, come on. Why do I call you? The finger pointed at me. It was, Kyle at one point asked for compilation videos on no, this show. No, that's been months ago. <laughs> to be uh, fair, no, we kind of that, backwards in a way ago. ask for that every episode. <laughs> no, what happened was long, long ago, four months ago or something like that. <laughs> long, long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that this four is going to be exactly accurate. <laughs> so, no, so, so the 100% truth of the matter is there have long been these compilation channels that, that, that put his stuff together for years and years now. And we've always watched them. And uh, at some point I asked for sort of a music accompanied compilation of him raging set to Johnny Cash's Hurt. You know, I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. And it was it made. It turned out well. Yeah. It turned out very well. Someone did an <laughs> excellent job at it. And, you know, music videos are the biggest thing on YouTube because they're so rewatchable. They're so catchy. They, they, they draw you in, and, and, and music speaks to the soul. And, and when the, the images accompanying that music match it so well, it just, it just, it just went off. And, and so from there... Uh, a lot of people kind of got into the idea of of uh, of making these compilations, and the, and and that spurred on a couple more channels. But the thing is, he fuels the fire, you know. Like like if there's no if there's no coal to stoke that engine, then it just dies out, right? Like like if, if he's just a normal human being, then then there is no content to. This is to... why I object to the troll channel thing, right? Like one thing Wings of Redemption did to me is he lied about some charity that I had done. I, I, I did this thing a long time ago called King of the Web. There was $7,000. Uh, I won and I donated 100% of it to charity. And then, and by the way, like I, like in real time, I like I put the check in an envelope, mailed it on camera. Like yeah. I, I did it. I, I got like shirts and thank you letters from them. It, it was real. Wings of Redemption told this guy, Holiday Doc, that it wasn't real that it was all a scam to make money, that I was keeping it. Um, I made a video saying, hey, vote for me on King of the Web. I'll put the money towards uh, this charity to write love on our arms. And uh, uh, Wings said I made more money off of that video than the 7000 I would have made from King of the Web. As if I make like $8,000 a video? That's outrageous. Was that a, right? was that a 15 million view video? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it, was, it, was, it, it was just all untrue. It was a lie. That's a troll. Right. When people talk shit about you and make things up and it gets believed and it tarnishes your name, like what Wings of Redemption does to me is troll video shit. What he's getting is truthful clips of who he is. Right. Yeah. It, it, there's a I think there's years of difference between like trolling and lying. And, you know, like it, I, there used to be all kinds of videos about me saying I was a pedophile and this and that. Not a, like outrageously false, right? Not true. They, they're monetizing my children. I used to hear that all the time. What happens to Wings is they just literally show him live streaming, angry yeah. at the people mm -hmm. he plays with, yelling at other people for his deaths in video games. Now, let me interject this. Now, in your research, if you decide to do something about this guy, you may find some people who call him out as a racist. That not is 100% not true. And, and and whenever that comes up, I defend him on that on that note. I, I I'm all about being giving him the fair shake as far as this stuff goes. Now now he's terrible to to people, and he he makes up terrible things about people, <laughs> and 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 he does terrible things. But he is not racist. He he grew up in a very mixed race environment, and uh, and he has he has not he has no racist racism within him. So so well, you'll hear you'll my... see. My primary focus was really, and what drew me into this, what made me watch 50 videos of this guy, mm. uh, aside from my general interest, which was really weird because when I'm watching this and I, I was talking to a friend about, well, maybe I'll do a video on this guy, uh, my girlfriend came in the room and she's like, is that Wings of Redemption? She used to be in a, a Gears of War clan <laughs> and they used to apparently fuck with him and laugh at his <laughs> videos back in like 2013, 2014. So... I, that was really weird to me, and she's like, "You have to do a video." So I started, <laughs> watching, I started watching more compilation videos on it. But it, they really are just strung together video clips of him being him. And the thing that attracts me is it's that he hates what that I think is the overall message is he hates his life so goddamn much, but he won't do anything to change it. He's not right? brave. The core of Wings of Redemption is the, is this is going to sound meaner than I'm targeting. But he's actually a coward, right? They, they, in his core of cores, 
it's why he doesn't leave his house. It's why he doesn't make any changes. It's why he, he doesn't have like the internal just bravery to get anything done with his life. That's, that's who he is in the middle of him. And until that changes, he's just going to sit there getting bigger live streaming video games. No, he I, has made some Jim moves, has though. to hear about the opportunity that Kyle gave very benevolently for Wings to change his life. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and take it from here, Kyle. So, you know, so you know the tale. So we're always throwing around fun ideas on this show about about things we can do outside the show in real life and such and 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 people like like sometimes will accuse us of like never doing them and there has been some some ideas that just didn't come to fruition. They're not completely because, wrong. <laughs> because, well, sometimes they're just not practical. Sometimes they, they we're like ah that's going to cause a legal issue. I can't fight insects in my house. That 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 might be that, we can't do that. I, plus, my roommate doesn't want there to be giant bugs in my house or something like that. But. Yeah. One episode, I I threw this at Wings because you know he was bemoaning his his his, his station uh, in life. Sure, and I said, uh, "Look, man, come to my house. We'll do a fucking month long boot camp. We'll get the fans behind it. We'll we'll do a Kickstarter to get you like fitness gear, supplies. Um, you know, we'll we'll film the entire thing. We'll we'll make posters. We'll make coffee mugs." We'll, we'll get like a big viewership. Not only will this revive your body, it'll revive your YouTube channel. Uh, this will be amazing. Come to my house. I'll take a month out of my schedule. I will devote it to you. We'll do this thing together. It'll be fun. I, I sort of half-heartedly meant it. I didn't really expect him to ever <laughs> say yes because of all the things that we told you so far, you know, he doesn't get out of his bubble too much. And then the man said yes. He took you up on it. He took me up on it. <laughs> he took you up on the offer. And so that night, I was uh, taking my taking a shower in my shower after the show, and and uh, I was washing my hair, and I bumped my elbow on the shower wall, and I was like, God, the shower is a little narrow. And then it occurred to me, Wings of Redemption could not fit into my shower, <laughs> and if he was going to live with me, we would have to put in a new shower. So construction began the next day. On a five thousand dollar shower, <laughs> we we tore out the old one. Wait, wait, are are, are you joking with me? Or Not is this, a bit. You being legit. I'm, this is absolutely legit. What happened. You built the guy a new shower. Called <laughs> in the contractors, ripped the old shower out, ripped the ripped everything out, laid laid a tile floor, laid a tile. <laughs> More walls, of a car wash, really. <laughs> big double That's a good glass, one, buddy. <laughs> big glass doors, a power hose with the multicolored foam, just like <laughs> wax the whole thing. And, 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 you know, getting ready for him to come over. I, I, I had a guest bedroom, but I don't think it was very well equipped. Bought him a new Roku. Put a TV in there. This man is going gonna, is gonna to lose weight. So he shows up to my house. He lived in Myrtle Beach. I was in northeast Georgia. It's about a five, six-hour drive, something like that. And he spent a month at my home. I filmed everything. I, I had a pretty nice uh, digital camera. Um, and, and I'm sort of doing voiceover live during the workouts and I set up all of these sort of comedic type workouts where uh, I uh, we used some of the money that was raised via Kickstarter to hire a friend of mine who assisted me in my videos, this, this guy named Jeremy, to be sort of like Wing's personal trainer while I was holding the camera and coming up with the workouts. And People make sure of, you, you say that Jeremy is not a personal trainer. <laughs> Jeremy's in good shape, though, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeremy's strong, and, and, and Jeremy can follow direction, and that's what I needed from a personal trainer. So Jeremy would, be, would, would motivate wings, like, come on, one more, come on, one more, or, or they would compete in, in some sort of physical activity to make it fun, and, as well as entertaining for the viewership. And, uh, and sometimes when wings was on the elliptical machine, his his weight would cause it to come off the casters, and Jeremy was there to put it back Starting on. Starting fires, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Start smoking or whatever. Jeremy was literally there spraying lubricant on the casters of the elliptical to keep it working because it had a 350 pound uh, limit on it, and you know the man weighed 425. He lost 40 pounds at my house in 30 days. He tried to quit multiple times. Not 30 he days. That that's important to me actually. Uh, it so two weeks in, he wanted to leave. And we held like an intervention on the show where all of us were like, you can't leave, you can't leave, you can't leave. So he didn't leave, but he kind of half-heartedly quit. But he stayed there, and I want to say it was 24 days total that he stayed. Wait, so are, are the videos of this up? Oh, like, my, yeah. watch this? my friend, there is a whole fucking video series that I... <laughs> oh, I have to go watch this <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Not to toot my own horn, but it's been called... 
the greatest Wings of Redemption content ever. <laughs> <laughs> by me. <laughs> right here on the show. Just now. I, I, I really put some blood, sweat, and tears into this. Not, I, I, I invented sort of competitions for him to do. There were costumes. There were gags. There he was sat sil- in a kiddie pool while being towed around by a truck, I think, as some sort of <laughs> upper body exercise. Does that sound right? That happened. I don't remember why I had him do it. There was a <laughs> redemption obstacle course. He was flipping tires, swinging hammers, swinging baseball bats, pushing trucks, um, doing wall sits, lifting weights. I got kind of a full gym. And, and there was at, at no point was there a structure of like, all right, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, we're going to do shoulders, arms, and chest, and then we're going to do <laughs> legs here. It was just, hey. Uh, See this guy Jeremy's dressed up dressed as Gumby up in a in a in a Gumby <laughs> fucking uh, mascot suit. He's gonna sit down and try to resist as you pull him across the hardwood floor. Yeah, it's like who knows what it's working out, but he's being active. <laughs> you know, something's got to work <laughs> he's out. Doing something. something. Yeah, he dropped he dropped forty pounds from this. Yes, because because I put him on a diet. We prepared yeah. all of his food. There was no going out for fast food. There was only what we brought into the home and prepared for him. Um, there, I, I, I lost like 15 pounds during the ordeal because I didn't have any junk food in my house for his benefit, you know? Uh, and I was going along with the workouts to some extent with him along the way. I'm jogging beside him or, or, you know, if, if, if he's lifting weights, then to, to spell him, I would do some lifts I, or show him the technique. You know, I'm certainly not an expert or anything, but I know how to do a proper bench press or I know how to do proper squats or whatever. And uh, I, I'm enough of a watching up YouTube videos and I, you know, I took weightlifting in high school and stuff. I know what I'm doing so I don't hurt myself. And so he wouldn't hurt himself. And so I would demonstrate along the way. Well, living with him outside of the workout was one of the most horrible ordeals of my life. <laughs> that month was one of the worst months of my life because Wings lives within his own bubble. He doesn't socialize. And so he doesn't curtail himself to social norms. Right away, myself, my roommate Kitty, and my girlfriend were in my kitchen. And the bathroom is visible from the kitchen. And we hear this noise of water flowing into more water. And we all look up ponderously, and the bathroom door is agape. And Wings is pissing. And we, <laughs> and we can see most of him. I couldn't see the penis, nor could he. <laughs> but he was pissing. And we all just, and, and, and we were all just in shock. And finally my roommate Kitty yelled, Close the goddamn door! You're pissing with the door open! She's British, as you, if you can't tell. <laughs> and we all just bust out laughing. Like, can you believe that? He's, he's like, what? What's the big deal? You know, just taking a piss. And not like I was shitting. <laughs> Strong Speaking point. Shitting, when I put him on the FPS Kyle diet, diet, which is a lot of salads and grilled chicken, basically, he didn't shit for a week. <laughs> didn't he didn't for shit for so long. I called the only person who I truly know is a bit of a fitness expert, Joe Lozon, who is a UFC fighter, a man who is literally a fitness expert. He, he's a professional fighter, professional athlete, big name in the UFC. I'm like, he hasn't shat in four days, dude. <laughs> He's like, what? Huh. He hasn't shat in four days. What do we do? He's like, well, if, if three or four more days go by, you know, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, I'm, it's already a problem, I think. Like, like just ima- I'm just picturing the meals that he's taken in. That's still inside him somewhere. Like, like he's more stuffing on down top. the musket yeah. barrel. I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, like, like, he's overloaded. This, you know, I, I've seen what happens when you put the wrong ammunition into a gun. It is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, like, what? Are we going to blow this man's asshole out? And I kept thinking back to a story that Wings once told us about how he was very constipated for a while, and he hadn't been able to poop. And then he finally sat on the table, and I'm going to quote him instead of telling you what actually happened. Wait, did, did you say sat on the table? Toilet. Oh, Toilet. okay. okay. <laughs> that was going to be a more horrifying story. Oh, there it's second. much more horrifying than hanging on a... Oh, you, let's take a turn. He sits on the toilet, and he begins pooping. And to quote him, the turd came out sideways and log-jammed in his asshole and... <laughs> Like, like if you can imagine, like, a long turd coming out an asshole and then somehow making a 90-degree turn and just wedging it open. It was like, a you know breach birth. They, you know in the movies when a big crocodile is about to bite the good guy and he sticks his <laughs> <in his> mouth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that happened to his asshole, according to him. And he screamed out in pain. Ah! And fell into the floor with the turd still lodged. And, and he was in so much pain, to quote him, it was only one thing to do. 
And that was called for grandma. What any of us would do. Grandma! <laughs> there's a turn log jammed in my butthole. Help me. <laughs> and she did. Quickly she came to his aid. Rubber gloves <laughs> were placed. A finger was inserted. And the turd, such that it was, was broken up and now, destroyed. So wait, fair, his... Kyle, his his grandmother fished shit out of his ass? Is that what you're telling me? Well, <laughs> well, well, to be fair, it was more of like breaking it up for easy room. Like, like an abortion. <laughs> to, to be but, fair. Yeah, <laughs> to be Mr. Fair. Medicare, we have our own scat man on the show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not exclusive to you and your universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, would, who would tell somebody that story? God, yeah. if that happened to me, I would never tell that fucking you story. Was so cool. You might kill your grandma so that she... <laughs> <laughs> You're just like smothering her that night with a pillow. I'm sorry, this can never get out. Mm. If Mr. Medicare finds out. <laughs> so if you want that clip, that clip exists of him breaking that down. <laughs> just breaking down her, breaking down the shit and his asshole. And so that was occurring to, my, to me as I pondered over his constipation. And so we're getting him these chia seed drinks from the grocery store, which are supposed to aid in and passing, you know, making you regular, making you poop. We're filling his diet with fiber. I, I believe there was like shredded wheat and, uh, and chia seed drinks and all of this stuff. And finally, like seven or eight days in, I mean, I had to replace the toilet. Not because anything was wrong with it, but just out of principle after you he left. You knew what happened in there. I knew what happened <laughs> there. It was like, it was like if your girlfriend told you she'd been in a gangbang. You didn't see it, and there are no visible damages, but you just can't get past it. Yeah. I knew Wings of Redemption had taken a seven-day shit in my toilet, and, that, <laughs> and I couldn't get past that ever again. I couldn't look at that toilet in the face square again and can have I, any can, respect. Can I ask you, what was his reaction after? I mean, so you, you host him on, this was on your channel, yeah? Uh, uh, you host him? was on see, this show. See, that's what he thought. He, show. See, that, 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 that's, to, to be fair, I felt like that was even more benevolent of me. I made all of this content for him, hosted him at my home, and he was like, so you're going to put this on your channel? I'm like, no, no, no. This is going on your channel. This is about reviving your YouTube channel. Yeah. And these videos have hundreds of thousands of views. I'm looking at uh, FBS. Oh, so it's all, all the traffic's going to him then? All the traffic. Yeah, it, it was all, all for Wings. Wings. Kyle did this very benevolently. I wasn't so being So he, he loses weight. He gets a show with you. He's got, you know, hey, come check out my channel. You, you watch this stuff. It's a month long. And was he happy about it? Was he thankful? And we set up an Indiegogo and raised him $10,000 cash. So did, did he ever say thank you for that? Thank you for helping my channel. Thanks for the money. Thanks for losing the 40 pounds for all the work. I don't want to say no because, because there's a chance, chance I just don't remember it. Um, and he did say it. But I will say I don't remember him ever thanking me now. I remember him saying Kyle didn't do shit. Uh, except for set up the workouts and make the videos and whatever the things you yes, did. Yes, and he's kind of gone the opposite route and said that I didn't do anything really to help him. And then then follow that by listing all the things that I did do. Um, you, you just said you put in a new shower for him. Yeah, for fuck's sake, right? You redid you re redid your damn house for him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's remarkable. Uh, and, and and I've never I don't know if I've ever said this, but the first night he broke the bed. And, and, and the room, it wasn't a bed, to be fair, it was a futon, because it was a guest bedroom, and I had never had a guest in there before, and so there was a futon, you know, a, a couch that folds out into a bed, mm -hmm. and I had slept on it once before, like, I, I'd, I was like, ah, let's break this in, and I fucked my girlfriend on it, and it wasn't bad, it was pretty comfy, he broke it immediately, it was a $400 futon, and so I w also went out and bought him a new, a bed, and box springs to sleep on during the duration. That was probably another five or $5, six thousand dollars a month of time, a bed. <laughs> yeah, like you definitely did a lot. Uh, I, I, I'm not. This isn't about me, but 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 we did a lot for him, and 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 uh, he was very ungrateful uh, in, in the end, I suppose. Living with him was a nightmare, though. He played he played music all night. He brought his own speakers with him instead of headphones, <laughs> and he had uh, he played really high bass music, like thumping. Just doom, 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 was he doom. trying to get you to kick him out so he didn't have to lose the weight? This do you think that was like a plan? One. This was night one. When the no, night yeah, <laughs> do, you, do you think it was a plan? Like if I'm really obnoxious with the music, they'll be like, you got to go, man. You gotta, I had you, no that's... social awareness. He, he had no idea he was, he was offending me. And, and I'm so the opposite direction where I'm, I'm really considerate of people's feelings. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to move to one of the other bedrooms in the house. Like it's a, it was a two-floor house and like my basement was finished and had two bedrooms in it. So I just moved downstairs to one of the other bedrooms, and I lived there for the duration of his stay. That, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, because the thing with him is 
there are a lot of rumors out there, and so maybe you guys can enlighten me on some of this stuff. Of uh, one course. of the darker, one of the darker subjects that's come up, and I, I've seen this on a couple of websites, talked about on uh, you know like a couple of subreddits, talked about in video comments. But again, I'm only watching the compilations. Uh, is he a guy that's threatened suicide on multiple occasions? Like that keeps coming up, and I don't know if that's legit or if that's just people exaggerating. Tons of many, times. many times. He, uh, of times. He's gone so far as to show the bullets and the gun that he would use to commit suicide. He's um, taken pictures of the forty-five hollow point bullets and tweeted them out, saying, "These are the bullets I will kill myself with when I run out of money." Is that to try to guilt trip the audience into paying him, or is he trying to? Do you think he's reached that far down that he's at can, that point? Can I take this one? I think it's really difficult to tell where his like three D chess audience manipulation starts, and where his just you know, that's who he is ends. You know, like this somewhere on that spectrum is a thing, and I can't tell if he's really sometimes harboring suicidal thoughts, <laughs> or if he's just playing everybody. I don't think he's playing anyone. I think he um, he's socially inept in a lot of ways, and and he doesn't really understand mm -hmm. the way he he just when he feels something. And this is what makes him so fascinating. And this is why to this day I'll say I don't hate Wings of Redemption. I don't dislike Wings of Redemption for all of his flaws, all the things that he, all the insults he's hurled our our way, both true and false, you know, lies and the truth. I don't dislike him. I don't want bad things for him. Because he is real. He is raw. He will give you, he will, like, like, we've all had bad days, right? Where maybe we had some, some terrible thoughts. Like, oh, fuck this. This is bullshit. As soon as he has those thoughts, he'll share them with you. He'll, he'll, he'll tell, he'll cut himself bare to the bone and expose it to you and tens of thousands of more people on the internet. Because that's just how he is. Uh, he's, he's made, he's, he's hit rock bottom ten times. Okay, like, like, like he's at magma at this point. <laughs> he's, he's under the crust. Yeah. He's a bedrock, he, he? He's found the iron core and he's drilled <laughs> deep within. But, but, but he still finds a way to like perk back up and then you watch him fall again. Uh, to, to speak to his sort of social ineptness or, or whatever you want to call it. Some people call it social retardation. The first time you met my girlfriend at the time, <laughs> she knew all about Wings of Redemption. She had gotten her friends watching him. I, like it, it, it interested me when you said that your girlfriend was familiar with him because my girlfriend's girlfriends were familiar with him. They were fascinated by, by watching the compilations, the music videos and stuff, which existed <laughs> back then. This is four years ago. And, uh, and my girlfriend comes over. Uh, we're in the basement working out, and uh, we're very sweaty and, and smelly. And, you know, we've been working out for a good 45 minutes or something like that, and that's you can't keep him going for three or four hours. He's not a pro athlete or anything. You, 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 you warm him up, you cool him down. You warm him up, you cool him down. You, you, he's, he collapsed a few times. Like, like I will say this, he gave his all when I was pushing him uh, on the workouts. He collapsed a few times. And, uh, and my girlfriend comes down there, and she meets Wings of Redemption. And I sort of studied him to see, like, what does he do when he meets a strange female? <laughs> he pulls his shirt up, exposes his enormous belly, and he show he says, "This is my MRSA scar. See here." And he's got because he, I believe MRSA. I, I think it's an acronym, right? Right? Isn't it like MR a staph infection? It's a staph infection. Oh yeah, you're talking about yeah. That's a really nasty one from hospitals, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh so yeah. He got he got a MRSA infection in one of his folds, and oh. yeah, and it and at first he thought it was a pimple. So I believe he was trying to pop it or something oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, which, which made it much worse, I think. It sort of inflamed it. And, and so it got to the point where like, he couldn't really move around very well because of the extreme pain that he was feeling in this fold over here on his, on his belly. And, uh, and he, this is also a YouTube video. If, you, if, if you're taking notes and you're looking yeah, for content. Oh, no, no, I am taking notes. Trust me, he, I'm taking very detailed he, notes. He went, uh, Chiz just linked it there for you. He went to the doctor, so if you can call it that, and, and they lanced his MRSA infection drained it and the smell, this is what the doctors and nurses were saying, the smell was so bad they had to open the door. They opened the door to the operating room to the outside. There's just a field back there, <laughs> at, there to let the stink out. And this is all filmed and it's draining this dark blood with like full of, you know, red yes, blood pus cells, and I guess. Pus and, you know. Yeah. It, it's 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 quite bad. So so like the first thing he did when he met my girlfriend was show her that scar because I, I 
I don't know why. It was bizarre. Because yeah, <laughs> the women love it. I mean, who doesn't want to look at a Mercer Chick scar? Chick scars, <laughs> man. I, I feel like he had heard that at some point. Like You're Chick lucky she stars. stayed with you after that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <Chick's> <laughs> like, I'd have, oh, he can survive I'd have upgraded anything. right on the spot like, if Wing showed me his scar. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Kyle, uh, I got to say, I think I'm going back to Myrtle Beach with Big Boy over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving um, you in the dust. Can, can I ask you about I'd the ham thing? Uh, uh, the ham thing? When I watch the con- – yeah, maybe you've noticed this, maybe you haven't. When I watch the compilation, right – uh, a lot of comments and, uh, you know, focusing on a clip saying, why does he keep smelling his hand? <laughs> so um, you know how... Oh, you have a story for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, like, like frat boys will, like, finger a chick and then be like, bro, smell my finger. And they sort of, like, relive the thrill of fingering a chick by smelling their own finger. He does that with food. No. No, I'm making that up. I'm making that up. <laughs> that's a, that's just something me and I made up once. See, now, that that's just a joke. What's actually happening is he has a tick where he like does something weird with his nose and like does this or something. He's not really smelling his fingers. That's them trolling him because they know he'll respond to it over and over. Just like well, you'll. I, I think the tick's getting worse because he. Yeah, the funny thing is, I watched these compilations and I, I thought to myself, well, maybe he's not really this bad. I'll go watch him on Twitch, and I swear to God, the five minutes of him that I watched is every compilation video. First, it was him <laughs> saying, "I hate this game. This game is stupid." And then he smelled his fingers, and the chat was like, "Oh, he's doing it again." <laughs> and then he's like, and then he starts talking about his sub loss. And it was like it was like ticking every box that every compilation video had done, and it was a random stream. I just picked it out of the blue to watch. That's why yeah. I prefer the term compilation video to troll video, right? A troll video would be making up lies about him, like he did for me. A compilation video just accurately represents what Wings has been doing lately. Well, yeah. that's why they're able to pump that content, the, those compilation channels can pump it out so quick. It's because they're not curating a huge amount of content. They're going, oh, look, a stream from today. Boom, four more videos. Because there, they're really just the kind of accurately representing it. There's yeah, a, I'm sure. There is Save a, that money. There is, is this high, one from today? Yeah, this is Take That Money. And it's, it, it, it's, it's, to the, it's to that Little Dicky song, Save That Money. Save That Money. Going to save that money. Except this is Take That Money. Okay? You know, like... like there are high qual. There's high. There's different grades to this stuff. There's a. There's <laughs> our favorite one is. I know it. it it's Mr. Big Guy, oh, and it's uh, it's to the it's, it's to one. the it's to the beat of um, it's Mr. A uh, song Mr. Blue Sky, I think, or something like that. I I don't think it's the Beatles. Uh, it's, oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, but it's it's Mr. Blue Sky. Um, and it's to that, and it is high quality. Is this one we want to watch with Jim? Oh, we can't I because can't, of the music. Oh, it's thing. got music in it. Electric oh. Light Orchestra. Yeah. Sense. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll be checking out. You want to name these videos? I will be checking out yeah, each and every one of them. Right you tell me the name. <laughs> yeah, I'll be looking at every single like, one. Like, like, this is the, these are the, the, like, the, the cornerstones of the Wings Redemption quadrilogy or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's must see TV. Like, I'm fascinated by the guy. I have long said that his career shouldn't be piddling around with with gaming videos or twitch content or anything like that it should be a reality show like like or, we've probably all seen honey boo boo or at least know of it you know it's tra- mm-hmm. it's garbage tv he's so much better he's so much better he if you think he's interesting or at least bizarre enough to be fascinating you should meet his extended family uh, he kind of reminds me of Bam Majera's uncle. You remember uh, Bam Majera on his MTV? Oh, uh, you know, the guy, uncle I'm talking about? A, uh, Vito? Yeah, yeah, Vito, the big guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, with the lazy eye, and then he died that a few years ago from being so fat. So <laughs> Wings, uh, Wings is obviously much closer to Woody and Kyle because the three of them started PKA together. I think if you asked Wings, he would say he started it. Uh, I don't have nearly as much exposure to Wings, but I am in the spot that he used to be on this show. And so he does not care for me. <laughs> and well, that, that's, that's one thing I wanted to ask, I guess, to get your perspective on this, because I, I do find this interesting. Mm-hmm. I know he's got a, you know, a, a decent-sized YouTube channel. He had a following for a while. He had a lot of people watching him because the content was kind of fresh and new, and he was one of the first people there. Um, but it seems like there's like an inverse thing going. Like He was big, and now he's dropped, and you guys were kind of smaller, and now you've just skyrocketed in, in, into doing stuff. Is that am – I, am I – getting that right or am i getting this wrong because it seems like uh, he had like 200 people watching his stream when i went on there on twitch in the middle yeah of the, he would have definitely had more back in the day yeah um oh yeah you know and he drives people away right like like he's continuously yeah. banning people you know that's the thing with him is he's he's banned so many people 
Um, and, and he doesn't sort of embrace the the people who come there for like the show, as it were. Like if he just embraced the character of of Wings, then he could be very big. He could have a thousand people a stream because he routinely gets six hundred people in there, and about half of those are there for the rage. He should They're be there Wings to see the it. angry gamer. Right, you know, he should have a bunch of stunt controllers that he tosses at the wall again and again, and yeah, he does that a lot. I, I in the compilations, I it must have been like ten controllers in total. He, He'll just he maintains whip them at the wall. that that is one stunt controller, and that he doesn't oh, actually break. That is, them. That's, saying, no, that's no, a lie. No, no, no. That's a lie. His Twitter oh, banner is a broken control. No, he does say it. I'm not oh, saying okay. that you're lying. I'm saying that he is. Uh, it, it, he broke a controller in the freaking Syndicate 1v1. He, he, we, we've done shows before where he's like, ah, I'm up the to a Syndicate 1v1. <laughs> That's the a good one. The Syndicate to bring 1v1. So it, I don't know. Is if... that when he. I think I vaguely know this. Like I said, I'm still kind of like. I, it, it's, I've made my way through the compilations. I've had my girlfriend tell me her stories of them laughing at him from back in the day, and I've heard some of the rumors and stuff. Was this the one. Where he challenged somebody to a 1v1, and then he threw, like, a shit fit because he lost. <laughs> Let me lay this one out. It's exactly that. So yeah, Hit me with the story on this one. Uh, We have a guy on our podcast. Wings is one of our hosts at the time. This is maybe four years ago. And the guy is known for being the best Call of Duty zombies player on the planet. And his, his YouTube channel is kind of skyrocketing, largely because he's so good at Call of Duty zombies. Six years ago, Woody. <laughs> Six years ago, thank you. Yeah. Um, what Wings doesn't realize is that he's actually good at the multiplayer version of Call of Duty as well. That's what he did before he got famous. Anyway, during the show, for hours and hours, Wings is wildly disrespectful to this guy. Just shutting him down, acting like he's not a gamer, like, you know, he just... He says that he'd be much better at zombies on his first game. He doesn't even play zombies, but if he were to, he'd be much better than the, the best player on the planet. He's telling him he And this was not like banter back and forth. It was Tom or Syndicate being very courteous back to Wings being pretty aggressive and rude. Perfect. So he's goading the guy nonstop, yeah. basically shitting all goading over him. Goading implies a, shitting all over him is better. Goading implies better. like a, a, a level of social sophistication that isn't there. That he doesn't, he doesn't have. <laughs> right, right. So, so he's just shitting on this guy all show long. And then at one point, he challenges him to a 1v1 on Bog. Now, a thing you need to know about Wings is his style of gameplay. He's actually very, very good at these across the map sort of accuracy based thing, you know, where, where we're both behind cover, we both have two or three pixels to aim at. That is Wing's cup of tea. That's what he's strong mm -hmm. at. So he sets the rules up and he says, we have to use M16. It has to be on bog. It has to be, he lays it all out there so it's to his advantage. I'm host, which is another big thing because I'm in North Carolina, Wings of Redemption's in South Carolina and Syndicate is in the UK. Right, so so Syndicate has all this lag and trouble to deal with, whereas uh, Wings is next to host practically. Right, he's a couple hundred miles from me. Mm -hmm. It goes on, Wings loses, and uh, to get into the, the details of it, he gets behind, which means that he has to start taking some risks, you know, to catch up, and that just leads to being further behind. And eventually, he throws the controller, rages, and blames me for streaming it. As if it were a surprise. I mean, we all agree they were going to stream 1v1. It was, it was like there's thousands of people watching. Well, he goes ballistic. And uh, he asks if we can turn off the... It, in the aftermath of it, we're all like, you know, it's okay, Wings. Like, I understand this sucks. I've been there. And he's like, what? I don't fucking suck. You shut up, you fucking... To me, right? That's what he's saying. I'm being nice to him. He's cursing me out, calling me and stuff like that. I try to like change the topic and play 1v1 against a different guy. You know, like, let's just mm -hmm. put that in the past and move on. He doesn't want that. He wants to end the stream, so we do. After the stream ends, he's continually threatening this guy. He says he's going to break his teeth out with a mag light, that if he was there, he would kill him. And he goes like nuts on it. And Tom, on the other hand, is also known as Syndicate, is just being cool about the whole thing. Like, you, look, man, you know, you win some, you lose some. Like, don't, don't make too well, big a deal why, out of it. Why, why is he getting so... Uh, he, I guess this would be my mindset. You said this guy is really good, top of the rank, right? Like it, mm -hmm. At zombies. At, not yeah, at zombies, yeah. But, I mean, uh, so he... Uh, uh, just the game in general, then, he would be proficient at, I would imagine. So, sure. Yeah. You know, if you're going against somebody like that and you lose, you'd be like, okay, well, I lost. Maybe you talk a little bit of shit, but you'd be like, well, the guy's good. 
right? I, I got a loss. I got a loss. Wings thinks he's you would great. Think so. Wings is uh, uh, self appreciation is out of this world. You know, it, the, he he legit thought for a while that he was better than all the pro gamers. That he was better at quick scoping than the quick scopers. Better at zombies than the zombies guy. Better anyone that at everything. He plays all his games on hard mode, right? As if that was some sort of like you know yeah. qualification to be an outstanding gamer so he was surprised that the number one zombie player on the planet was better than him he didn't see that coming and you say why is he making such a big deal of a loss you also have to recognize and maybe you do that it's not just a game to him this is his living this is his sense of self-worth this is like being good at games yeah. is takes not a lot just of his finances but who he is that's like as a man he is a dominant gamer. That's one. Did of the you things. mention the part where he tried to bribe Syndicate to lose the the rematch? We didn't get there. Wait, yet. he tried. Oh, yeah. God, see, that's, so now we got to get to that part. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to pick up where I was, as soon as the call ends, he starts threatening Tom. He's going nuts about it. He, he's, he's like lots of violence. I'm gonna bash your teeth out. I'm gonna do this. He, I think he said he was gonna have teeth soup. I think that was one of the things where where he busts his teeth out with a maglite, and then he's just there with a bloody mouthful of teeth. And and, it, and this is what Wing. He said he would kill him. He said if he was near. If, if he was closer, he would literally kill this man for beating him in a 1v1. And uh, a little time passes and, like, Keemstar gets involved in this. Keemstar was always uh, opportunistic about um, when he found drama. And he's like, we'll set up a 1v1 with you guys. We'll put, I forget what it was, like $5,000 on the line. And, uh, and then winner take all. And jo Wings came to him and said, look, we'll do this. We'll do a 1v1. You throw it. You uh, Look, I'm going to win anyway because I'm Wings of Redemption. But, but you throw it just to lock that in. And then I'll keep... I think... What did he want the split to be? It was to his... See, see, that's the best part. Wings would keep the lion's share and get the victory. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, it, not, it, that's not how a bribe works. That's not how bribes work. <laughs> yeah. So he, I think it might have been 3 2, it might have been 4 1, but Wings was keeping the bulk of the money. And then Tom, who just beat him, was supposed to lose on purpose. And Wings felt like, but you will get that 1,000 in public humiliation. Oh, well, you should take what you can get. Off, right? He uh, jumped right on that and said, that sounds great to me. He took Absolutely. an alternative yeah. route where he took a screenshot of the Skype conversation and tweeted it out to the world. <laughs> That's amazing. See, I would have done that. I would, I <laughs> yeah, that does I would have absolutely done that and laughed about it for weeks. And and if Wings Wings to this day thinks that the Syndicate 1v1 loss was a big part of his loss of popularity, it really wasn't. You know, he, no, he could have just laughed that off and it would have been nothing. But his reaction to it was a part of his loss of popularity. The bribing was a part of his loss of popularity. And um, it really wasn't about his gameplay at all. Well, yeah, that, that's what kind of fascinates me about uh, him. Because uh, kind of going back to the DSP thing, uh, Wings on uh, his YouTube channel, I think he's like at a half a million, isn't he? Somewhere oh, yeah, around yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Around there. D DSP has 180,000. DSP can do a stream and he'll have, you know, he can get like between 600 and 1,000 people watching on the regular. So you'd think that Wings would be able to pull in at least a comparable number to that from somebody who's got a smaller, smaller base. But I think DSP... He, I mean, he's got, he, and he has things that go way beyond what Wings deals with. I mean, he has actual A logs, people that want to see his life ruined. So, you know, it's more than compilations and just trolling. But I think DSP rolls with it better, and Wings seems to have a, a worse reaction to it. Like watching the compilation videos, there's a, if you look at his sub count, you know, because he, he has that, I believe, in his video that shows his sub number. And you go back four months and you look at the newest one, you can see it ticking down as he's, lo he's losing subs every week because he keeps freaking out on people that come into his streams. It goes up and yeah. down. It goes up and down. I, I went and streamed with him um, maybe two and a half, three months ago. Like I, I played some uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds with him, and, um, and it was a very popular uh, stream. And then the next day, uh, he made it so that you, you had to be subscribed to him in order to watch it. I don't know. There were, there were 1,000, 1,200 people in there watching it live, and then which was like quadruple what he normally gets. And then uh, to, to, to watch the four-hour-long video, you had to subscribe, uh, so, which is – he made it that way. And so he got like 100 extra subscribers. And so he's been losing those 100 steadily as, as like the, when the next month came around, they, oh, were, they all left. And so, so that's why you get a big disparity and like up and down kind of thing. But he hovers around six – 
hundred to seven hundred subscribers somewhere. Yeah, in there, why? Why say. does he do that? By the way, because when I went to his Twitch channel, I was like, well, maybe I'll, I'll watch some past streams. Nope, can't watch it. Have to be. A he does that um, in an attempt to combat the compilation channels, which I suppose yep. we'll, we'll refer to them oh, as. <laughs> they really hit that level. He's trying yeah. to counter optimize. So at least like what ten of his subs are the compilation channels. Absolutely, and of course he neglect and he acts as if. Many, many of these people who make those compilations simply watch the whole stream. They don't have to. I, I say that they tune into his stream on their computer and click record, you know, grab screen, record. And then they come back in a, in a few hours when it's all over and they look for the juicy parts and they chop up their video. Right. They don't need his permission. They just record it. They just screen grab it or they they clip it as they watch. You know, that that's a thing that people do frequently. So so it's it's kind of silly to do that. Um, we should uh, we should go through the. The more downfall aspect, regard to him, regarding him and PKA, where the survival trip hmm. was yeah, I, I, coming I've about. A, I, I've heard a little bit about this, so I'm kind of curious about the details on this because, the, from what I understand, didn't he uh, initially agree to something and then at last minute cancel out on you guys? So he led you along to believe something was going to happen and then didn't give you the courtesy, of just saying outright no or even a heads up. Can we can we try again for another time, kind of thing? Yeah, this is yeah, another yeah, example of. Right. This is another example of us as a show trying to do things outside the show, outside of just what we're doing here tonight. Um, we, I guess, we've been watching a lot of Bear Grylls and Survivor Man and that sort of thing, and uh, it was very popular at the time, and and we were into it. We all liked watching them survive in the wilderness with minimal tools and such, and uh, somehow it came up. Hey, let's do a survival trip. Let's go out into the wilderness, the three of us, and uh, let's see let's see how we how we fare, and. Uh, Everybody was on board, except we, for one. Who, I was going to mention the lefty thing. Um, there were four of us on the show at that point. Taylor was not on the show. It was myself, Woody, Wings, and a fourth gentleman named uh, Lefty. And Lefty, when this came up, he was like, ah, that's not for me, boys. Um, you know, that, that, That's not my game. Uh, I, I don't think I'd fare very well. I wouldn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm out. We were very respectful of that, Woody and I. We were, we were, we were like, ah, well, all right, man. Cool beans. You know, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Nobody here is going to give you. And then Wings interjects. Pussy. A real man goes into the wilderness and survives. <laughs> a real man does this and that. A real man does blah, blah, blah. You you know, Lefty's from Chicago. So he's like, ah, Chicago. Yeah. I, if I had my passport, I'd come up there to Chicago and whoop your <laughs> lily-livered ass. You know, this is, this is the sort of like mindset that he has that was a really... side joke kyle just mentioned because wings thought that you needed a passport to go state to state <laughs> <laughs> oh wait no really yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he, wow he really is a fucking uh <laughs> and so and so you know we were like ah he, he threw lefty really under the bus there because lefty didn't want to do this thing like and you know privately i would have liked lefty to come on the show of course you know four four people on a trip is better than three five is even better but but Three is is acceptable, I suppose. So planning begins. Lots of planning. We're looking at satellite images of potential locations. We settle on this place called the Uari National Wilderness uh, Forest in North Carolina. It's a true wilderness. Um, it's a, I think it's a federal park or a state park, something like that. But you're, you can go out there. You can camp. And uh, we, we, we settle on a date. We all figure up, you know, when we're going to arrive. We, we started we find, like, divvying a... up skill sets, right? Like Kyle was the hunter. I'm particularly good at starting fires. I don't even call what Wings was, but he was working on fires too. And we were just like all thinking about how we were going to succeed at this. Yeah. But... And leading up to it, we're making videos, talking about it. Like one of the things was that we kind of got fixated on was starting fires with flint and steel. And so I made a quick video on one of my YouTube channels of me in my backyard making a fire with flint and steel. You know, it's it's a little annoying at first, but once you get the the the, the knack of it, you can do it. Wings made four videos of him making fire with flint and steel and never accomplished it. He uploaded all four, all four <laughs> failures. They they failed in various ways. They there would be a cut between him going ch 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 and the, the camera would cut, and it would come back on, and then there was a big pile of leaves on fire. And you it was were like, like 18 inches tall, like the fire. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? Like, like, he just got out a big lighter and lit some leaves on fire in his backyard. And again, they're like leaves you'd rake up in your backyard. I'm going literally into the woods and like 
scratching uh, trees with a knife. He found a like, bird's I... nest and lit it on fire. Yeah, so yeah. I got like, really we're... upset about that. I don't know why. He lit a bird's nest on fire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they weren't in it. <laughs> <laughs> so so like the day cat. comes. <laughs> it's time to do this thing. And so I set out on this v quite long drive. I'm going to say it's four and a half, five and a half hours from where I lived at the time to where we're doing this thing. So if I leave the night before, I'm going to get a, a motel room in the area 30 minutes from the meetup location and uh that way i don't have to drive you know early in the morning i don't want to leave my house at 5 a.m get there at 10 a.m and be already just kind of out of it before we begin hiking and surviving and such so i'm driving in the night before and i think to myself hey let me give old wings a call make sure we're all good to go here you know because it's it's wings call him up say, hey man and you get ready to do this thing. I'm I'm driving in now, about three hours from the place. What, what are you up to? You know, you could leave, if you left right now, you'd be here around eleven, and uh, you know, you could you could share this motel room with me. I, I could get I could get a room with two beds or something. He's like, I'm not going. I'm like, what? What what, what do you mean? I, I'm not coming. When were you going to tell me? Well, I'm telling you right now. What the, what? The f so I call I, I I text Woody. I'm like, he's not fucking going. He's not fucking going. And so Woody gets on the phone with him. Woody tries to talk. And I'm thinking, like, Woody's going to talk him into this. I'm still driving with this idea. Woody will talk him into this. Woody's a great motivational speaker when he needs to be. And I'm sure Woody There's was selling him There's some compilations of me telling Wings, like, you know, if you want to be an extraordinary person, you have to do extraordinary things. <laughs> be a winner, not a loser. Be a doer, not a donter. You know, Very Henry <laughs> Rollins-esque. Yeah. yeah, this sort of talk, you know. And, and he just doesn't fucking come. He just mm -hmm. doesn't fucking come and, and 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 it's now it's just me and woody in the woods now it's just now it's just kind of weird it it's, got gay. And, it's, it got gay. <laughs> it's like, like i hope nobody sees me in this this, this 40 year old man just driving I'm off practically into the a dark. pedophile with kyle <laughs> yeah yeah so, so it really took the wind out of our sails and and uh and you know, I, I ended up getting violently ill like yeah. on the first night of the survival trip i think from some tainted tap water but uh, in any case, like, like no, I, it was because you weren't very good at swimming through that stream, and you swallowed that's stream my water. Theory. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I drank some river water, and I think that's what I was vomiting like for I was hours. Swimming all over that river like it was nothing. Like I see a frog out there <laughs> yonder. I'll go get it. You know, I think I shot a turtle. <laughs> so he, he he left you guys high and dry. Then you you had this all set up, all ready uh -huh. to go. It was going to be this big thing, and then at the last minute, you you talking to him, and he says. No, no, I don't think so. What's Definitely. it going to notify us? I, I think that the next morning at 9 a.m., we were just going to, Woody and I were, would have pulled up to that bait and tackle shop slash restaurant uh, <laughs> and just been sitting there at the table and be like, no, 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 we don't want to order yet. Our friend's coming. <laughs> and like <laughs> at like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour would have gone by. I'm like, no, 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 we're, yes, we're hungry, but I, oh, it's lunch now. I, well... <laughs> We'll wait. We'll wait for our friend. And he just never would have fucking shown. I don't think he was ever going to notify us that he wasn't fucking coming if I hadn't called him and asked. It was absurd. It was absurd. And it made me so goddamn mad. Yeah, I'd have been pissed. I'd made been me really so pissed. goddamn yeah. mad that I, I went on our subreddit and I was like, I've been pushed to the edge. You know, I'm typing this. Mess. I've been pushed to the edge. No, I can't take it anymore. Play like a no champion. Excuses. Play like a champion, you know, like rule number 34, no excuses, play like a champion, which is from that movie Wedding Crashers. You know, they got rules for wedding crashing. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I can't believe this. He's not coming. He has no excuse. He, he has no reasoning. He's just literally afraid of the woods and and mm -hmm. and doesn't want to come. And Exhibit A in the like at his core, like bravery is just not an attribute that he has. And so that was the downfall of Wings on the show. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, I believe. Um, like, he was also showing up late for shows, right? Like, like we, we scheduled have different ones. I, I think for Kyle, bailing on this survival trip was a really big offense. It was. For me, I didn't like it, but I could almost take it or leave it. It was like, all right, Wings isn't here. The survival trip, I felt like just got a little easier. I didn't expect him to pull his weight. I expected, well, true, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I wish he was there, but there was at least a little part of me that was like, but, well, now I don't have to find like one and a half persons worth of food, you know, like me and a half. And you would have, you know, I, I sort of thought we were going to, like, he was going to do less than his share. 
So it wasn't like a big criminal offense to me. I, I, I had harbored other things. Like, like remember the guy we talked about who said he was going to anally rape my wife and daughter and compared my son to shit? Wings gave him money. We, oh, like, oh, oh, is this the... Um, oh, okay, let me, let me read this out before you go into the story. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you can tell me if this is accurate or not. Um, because, like I said, there's information posted everywhere, and I don't know what's real or not. Uh, it's a, and this was, I believe, from 2014 or 2015. Earlier this year, it was revealed that he worked as a double agent helping a YouTube troll attack a 10-year-old autistic son of one of his friends. Is he? Is that talking about you? Is that, that sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, so so this guy, the, the one that, you know, challenged me to fight him and we organized mm -hmm. it, uh, he also would like, he'd be like, give me money. I want to go to Europe or I want to do this or I want a car. I don't know what he wanted money for. And Wings donated to him. And I felt like that, like for me, that was a real betrayal, right? This is a guy who doesn't just attack me. He attacks my wife and my children. Wait, no, say, say, I'm sorry. Say that. So the guy that's screwing with you and your family, he gave him money? Yes. Yeah. Via PayPal. Why? He, because this dude that was attacking Woody's family, uh, obviously Jesus, his, his channel was named. He also like, as like a, a different thing, not related to what he was like, oh, I really, you know, I'm feeling depressed and I'm all, you know, in a bad headspace. It would, I would feel really way better if I could go on like a three week, no thinking about anything European vacation. So donate to my European vacation. Oh, also, I need a new gaming PC. That would really pull me out of this funk. And so that's basically what he was doing. That, that, E-begging that, that, for No, no, that makes, that makes no fucking sense. You guys were doing a show together at the time, yeah? We were friends. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're friends with him, and you're doing a show together, and the guy that's fucking with you, he gives him money. Yeah, That's not the yes. only one. You know, yeah. There was another guy. His name was Thunder Toro. And uh, Thunder's channel is doing well at this point, but he hates me. He hates me, I think, because he was a better gamer than me, but I was more successful on YouTube. And I think that's the core of it. Like, I never talked to him or anything. And uh, he uploaded a video where his friend said that my son was a get the jerked off dogs. And uh, and I didn't like it, you know. So I uploaded a response. Well, yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> and I gave that comment that. two thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> Wings, on the other hand, was giving him like search engine optimization optimization advice and and like how to grow his channel. And he was doing really well. And Wings took some credit. Oh, but you know what? Fuck, fuck this guy then. How is he going to cry about compilation videos and be like the trolls are coming to get me when he's funding people that are fucking with you? That's that. Exactly. You know what? We're of the no same pity, mind no, on this no, one. No fucking pity. Fuck yeah. 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 And Wings was like, Woody, I feel like you're making me choose between you and him. And I was like, I am. That was the day I decided not to fix his desk. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the... I, you, I, you're way too nice, man. I, I'm surprised you didn't just kick his ass. We're nice people. Again. Yeah. Wow. I, so Wings yeah. had this guy who was totally underqualified. And he gave him like thousands of dollars to make a desk. And the core of it is the guy messed up the epoxy job. So I was like, stick the thing on a trailer, bring it to my house. I will fix it for you. I will sand it down. I'll finish it properly. I'll get it all done. Woodworking is something that I'm good at. And, uh, and we were all, it fell through, I guess, or got delayed because Wings insisted on bringing these felons over to my house. Like, I, I guess he has these friends with felony convictions. But he <laughs> what the fuck is yeah. this guy? But, right? <laughs> right? And I've got like kids sure. and like a girl and a boy in grade school at this point, and, and he just wants to bring the felons over. And I'm like, no, no, no. Let, let, let's, how about it's just you? But like I said, Wings doesn't really leave town, so he didn't want to drive a few hours without, you know, I don't know, some muscle. I'm not sure why he was so insistent. I don't insistent. think the felons should be leaving town. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he, he just like, But we got to keep this on the down low. They're not technically allowed to leave yeah. South Carolina. <laughs> so, uh, um, and yeah, the night that like it all went down and he's like, I feel like I have to choose between you and Thunder. You know, I want to give him help growing his channel while he attacks your family. And I was like, fuck it. Fuck you. You can let Thunder fix your desk. And that's how the desk thing fell through. Can, yep. can, can I ask you a question? Just uh, uh, <laughs> It sounds really cold hearted on his part, right? Um, it's, it doesn't even make sense rationally, really, when you think about it. So he, he's doing this, uh, these kind of shows with you guys. You've, you're, you've got a big sub base. You've got a lot of viewers. This Thunder guy, did he ever do anything for Wings? Like, w Wings is sitting at 200 people watching his fucking streams right now. So where is the people he funded that fucked with you? Are they helping him right now? No. No. Wings so, so, so Wings is a giant retard then, right? I mean, that's socially, kind of the consensus. Yeah. Like, <laughs> socially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen his test scores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i just i felt like wings wronged me for a long time and, and we this came we got here from the survival trip right so i think that for kyle 
The biggest offense Wings committed was bailing on the survival trip, especially the way he did it, attacking Lefty for a month on being such a pussy and then turning out to be an equivalent pussy. For me, that was just the straw that broke the camel's back. It was 1% of why I was fed up with Wings. Yeah, so you had a deeper history running with the guy, with the stuff that he'd been doing. Yeah. You don't even yeah. need a history for him to get upset with you. The first time I ever played a game with Wings of Virginia. Actually, Kyle and Woody, you were both there. This was like, what, eight years ago now? This, where we were playing a... Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And we were playing Domination, and our team was thrashing them. We were up like, the games were played to 200. I'm not sure if you played that game. But it was like 180 to like 40 or something ridiculous. We were thrashing them. And I was really close to my kill streak, and we had them pinned in the spawn. And I'm like, I'm just going to run in there and shoot a few people, get my score streak, and then get a few kills with it before the end of the game. I get up, run into their spawn, kill a couple people. Someone spawns behind wings, who's in his general tactic, camping behind something like head glitching out and getting pop, 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 you know. And he gets shot from behind, and he starts screaming like, Who the fuck ruined the spawn trap? Who the fuck... Who the fuck is Mercadurka? Who the fuck is Mercadurka? <laughs> Just screaming. And at this point, like, I'm like, I, I don't know these guys well enough. Like, I know Kyle and Woody. Like, I feel like they'll back me up. And then, of course, you know, at the time, Wings was the biggest channel of all of us. And so everybody was kind of giving their respects of like, yeah, that was, that was Taylor. You shouldn't have done that. And I was like, uh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean anything by it. He's like, well, you fucked it up. I was on a, I almost had a nuke. I was 22 kill or whatever the fuck he was Taylor's saying. Taylor's like, like 15 at this point. <laughs> oh, I'm, this is like eight years ago, so I'm like 19. Okay, yeah. all right. Like, uh, he, I, I so, it was the most angry I've ever heard anyone in any game for any reason. And we won. <laughs> by a lot. And so, like, I, I, I don't know. It was just like an eye-opening thing of like, wow, this guy really gives a fuck. I had a group and then he, people... he uh, as soon as that happened, removed me from his friends list and, <laughs> and wanted me kicked from the group. Oh, that, that was it, huh? You were thrown out to the wolves for that yep. offense, yeah? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I, I think I was on his friends list for, what, uh, how long was that game? 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> You're the original Gustavo. He gets, he gets really angry. Like, I've noticed in a lot of the compilations, too, uh, when he starts streaming, people to, to mess with him and make him angry will go stream snipe him. So they'll, mm -hmm. they'll watch him, his gameplay, find out where he's spawning, and then just constantly screw with him. And it drives him up a wall. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe I'm not familiar enough with Twitch, but couldn't he delay his stream a little bit so that's not, like, an issue? It seems but, like well, such a... Well, see, that would work if he were the type of player who, like, moved around the map and, like, moved from position to position. Very but, static. But he finds one location that's ideal for sitting right here hiding so only his eyes can be seen... And there's a good flow of enemies running past that he can pick off one, a, one by one. And so people are just like, oh, I'll chunk a grenade over there. And he's dead. And uh, he's like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> and he goes right back to those barrels. And 30 seconds later, another grenade comes out of nowhere and blows him up again. And so, you know, rage quit. Just rage quit. He, he, he can rage quit faster than any That's, human being alive. He doesn't oh, get yeah. enough shit for that. He brags about his KD constantly. It dashboards every bad game. And, and if you're not yeah, familiar with, the, with this, um, if you exit the game normally, then that game counts towards your accumulated statistics. If you dashboard, then that game just never happened. And he yeah. does it all the time, which in itself is kind of bad. Like you wouldn't want a teammate who did that. But <laughs> he, he does it so much that his stats are now fake. He's not a 3KD player. You can't dashboard that often and then brag about your KD. So he he's basically yeah. like the the low tier god of uh, first person shooters. Like he he's a guy that if he's even starting to lose a little bit, or, or getting a little on tilt, will automatically just jump. Yeah, he he likes to pub stomp, basically. Like he's okay. a pub stomper. So he'll go and he's 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 very good at Call of Duty. Not taking that away from me, he's very good. Mm -hmm. But he does he likes the game the way he likes to play it. Well, Which yeah, I mean, he may static. be very good at it, but God, he seems to hate it so much. Like, I've <laughs> he, never he heard him say a positive thing about it while I've watched these compilations or the stream that I happen to watch. He hated it. Were there any, uh, like, outlying questions, Jim, that you had about oh, Wings? Yeah. Well, I guess I guess the, the biggest question to me would be this. If he, if he got really big and a lot of people were watching him and he was doing really well and pulling in a good amount of money, I, I can imagine at the time from all the ad revenue and stuff, did he not have any foresight to, like, you know, build a nest egg to, like, save that away for a rainy day so bad things wouldn't happen five years later? Well, if by nest egg you mean purchase three new trucks. In a year. 
And it's four. In a year. <laughs> oh, four new trucks in a year. Well, you know what they say. Don't invest in real estate. Keep it to automobiles. They, <laughs> that's a smart they appreciate in value. It's got a Roush engine. That's what you don't understand. This F-150 has got a Roush racing engine in it. Hey, it's worth more now than what I paid. Wait, Kyle, you, or Kyle or Woody, both of you know the, the truck story. You want to enlighten Jim a bit on that? He bought two. Like I, Woody and I went and visited him New Year's Eve 2012, 2000. 11 something like that <clears throat> and we were both blown away by the quality of this man's ride really was once nice. again we questioned our our own direction in life just as we had a couple years prior when he told us he was making ten thousand dollars a month and neither of us were even close we were like i was like god i, I feel like i'm doing well but god damn look at this man's ride look at the odometer Woody and I are both looking at the odometer the gauges on this thing they're like yeah. glowing green the leather seats the the step the chrome railings and step bars the nice wheels and tires it's immaculate it smells good it's beautiful he bought a new one a couple months later the first uh, one wasn't comfy enough wasn't comfy enough did, wait did he sell the old one or he just kept it he traded it in he kept <laughs> it for just a while from one to one yeah, yeah. he didn't he, trade it in right away he I think he I believe it he in kept right it away. there was a time when he owned like four vehicles he had his 2002 chevrolet which is what he drives these days he had like a i don't remember the years but let's just call it like a 2011 and a 2012 f-150 both the, the big ones you know like like four doors leather seats like lariats uh with with you know 5.7 liter engines and and just very nice vehicles and then like you know he gets a girlfriend he's like ah you need a tahoe my love Oh, wait, didn't didn't off. you guys tell me he, he that's th this is even weirder to me than I guess like if he's such a homebody right if he's a guy that doesn't hasn't left his town more than six times likes to stay inside why would he invest so much why would he invest <laughs> oh, so much in out, Kyle. <laughs> because trucks are a status symbol in uh and not only redneck culture but specifically it seems in his opinion in his neck of the woods. There was a, a time when I believe he was talking about his sister. Is that correct? He was talking about how attractive his sister was, and and met the young lady. She's she's cute. Uh, I, I think, and and he said she's good looking. She she's she's dating some guy now though that's got a Honda Civic. I mean, she could get a man with a with a lariat Boy, or yeah. a, or or a Chevy twenty five hundred or something. <laughs> That this is a four-wheel drive quality girl I got here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing messing around with that Honda Civic boy. She could do much better. She's like, at least an all-wheel drive Subaru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no consideration as to like what this gentleman's personality is like, what his education is like, what his uh, what his goals in life are, right, what his right. means are, where he uh, lives. What are you driving? What are you? What kind of wheels you got, bro? What's your towing capacity? You got the mud <laughs> gripping tires? You got flow masters on the back? So Hell the, yeah. The reason you've done he's good driving this decked out F-150 with the Roush engine is that <laughs> that is his status as a human. That's his rank. Yep. Uh, if, if I could ask you one final question, I guess, because <laughs> I, I probably am going to be doing a video on this. This guy, it's, it's too interesting not to. <laughs> um, where do you think? Because you guys, you're much more familiar than I am. Right with this guy, you've interacted him with, uh, interacted with him more. You have more of a history. In a year's time, where do you see him? In two years' time, where do you see him? Is he going to still be on the internet, uh, holding on to twenty subs, or is he going to finally have like a eureka moment and uh, get a job or get in shape? Or do you, where, where do you see it playing out? How do you, how do you think this is going to end? You want to go first? I think that he won't get the surgery. That the money will get spent on just general living expenses. He's not going to go out and buy Roush again or whatever, but but he'll stream a little less often. He'll there won't be an urgency. He won't be like hungry. He'll live <laughs> off of the good times that he's had in 2018 cuz he's making money right now. And then come 2019, we'll start again and he'll raise money with the promise <laughs> of a surgery. Um his fallback plan has long been to go on to disability if he can get it. Um, so if he could ever swing that, um, that's that'll be his uh, his lot in life. Um, the the money he has right now, let's call it twenty five thousand dollars, could be thirty five. Um, there's a couple of things he could spend that money on. He he owes roughly that on his modular home, um, and by his modular home, I mean his mother's modular home that they have an agreement 
with one or another that whenever he pays it off, she'll sign it over to him. Although she's broken that agreement once before when he paid it off, so is Majin Home what you're supposed to call double wides? It's what he calls a double wide. It's okay. a very fancy name for it. It's very it's modular. Yeah. It's like a couch that you can move around in your living room, right? Modular? No. Yeah, like a like like a like a sectional that I you can disassemble. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's well, wait, how, how could she have broken it? So did he take out a second mortgage on it then? If it was already paid yeah. off once, how how she could did. she? Oh, she did. He paid oh, the God. house off once, thinking that it was his house, and then she was like, second mortgage time. And he's like, oh, no. And and so now he's paid off the second mortgage up to, you know, I don't know, $10,000, something like that, fifteen, twenty, whatever. And so he, she has told him that the next time he pays it off, she will uh, sell it to him for $1, essentially. Oh, she, she super swears this time. Pinky swears this time. <laughs> that is and it. she's reliable. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, I think that he actually will lose the weight eventually, and I think it's going to come from some sign, some kind of real health thing, like some, not like going to the doctor and them saying, "Oh, your heart's a little fucked up" or whatever. Like it's something big is going to happen because you can't age at that weight and continue to gain weight until shit gets real eventually. Like I feel like a heart attack or something like that is going to happen, and that'll actually scare the shit out of them and be like, "I don't want to die." Like, yeah, like this sucks doing Twitch and getting made fun of or whatever and not not capitalizing on the many opportunities I've been handed, but I don't want to die. And so, you know, I don't think I'll ever be a fucking triathlete, but I think at some point a big enough scare is going to get him that he will start declining in weight. But who knows about what that will mean for his actual life, if he gets a real job, if he does what. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to have a video out uh, more than likely by the end of the month or the first week of next month on this. I will put a... I will put a little, I, I don't know, maybe like a little poll as a pinned comment so people can come back a year from the video's release just to see if the speculation on where his lot in life would be ends up being close to what it actually is. Because, again, I don't know him, but I don't think he's ever going to get the surgery. I, I think he's just going to get angrier and angrier, and uh, the sub count's going to keep dropping. And uh, I, I don't know where he's going to end up, but I, I don't know. It just, it seems like he really hates what he does, but I don't, I can't picture him doing anything else. Does he have any, I don't, I don't see like a skill set where he's going to be like, hey, uh, come let me work at the Fortune 500 company, or hey, come let me uh, be an auto mechanic, or hey, let me, let me come do something like this. Cause well, he, he was a metallurgical engineer. <laughs> That's not actually true, but he said it. <laughs> so it's kind of, but Met- metallurgical is, engineer, huh? Yeah, but he didn't yeah. know that aluminum and steel were different things. The <laughs> no, aluminized steel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very confused. That's what it was. Yeah. But but like, so I've known Wings for eight nine years now, something like that. Like I knew Wings when I opened my channel. Like I, I had 38 subs, I think, when I met him. So in all that time, in the last nine years, he hasn't demonstrated the like get up and do it or bravery to make a change in his life. Instead for the last nine years he's just taken whatever kind of came to him he doesn't go out and get it he gets what comes to him and i just i haven't seen anything that will imply a different path than that and what will come to him naturally well the same thing we're watching right now you know some pity donations some streaming some controller throwing i think that someone in his life is gonna um get a hold of that money and uh, he's gonna be broke again and um you know, I, I don't think he's ever going to stop doing what he's doing because it earns well. You know, we're, we, we, the get, yeah. we, you know you've, you've mentioned a couple times he doesn't have quite that many viewers. He's making five, six grand a month, you know, and, and it, every month, you know, without fail. Is he, is, wait, is he really? Oh, yeah. Is that from oh, yeah. YouTube ad revenue or is that from No, no, no. Things? It's from Twitch donations and Twitch subscriptions. You know, each Twitch subscription is paying him a, a few bucks and then he gets, uh, he gets donations. Like the night that I went on with him. He made fifteen hundred dollars cash just in donations, um, and there's been other nights where he'd make twelve hundred dollars cash in donations. You know, if uh, uh, there, there's a couple of fans of ours that are mutual fans, you know, they go back and forth that that have money, and they'll they'll go in there and they get in a little bidding war with one another. Ah, I gave him a hundred, and the other guy, ah, I gave him two hundred. Ah, well, I'll give him three hundred, and before you know it, they've between the two two guys, they've given him eight or nine hundred dollars, and then. That gets everybody else fired up, and four or mm-hmm. five hundred more will flow in, and you know he he makes good money. He'll put the well, room in sub only mode, 
and people will sub so they can still troll him. He makes money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He puts it in sub only mode so that the trolls will be silenced. But then the trolls donate in there. They speak up again. Uh, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's making money. Uh, and, and, you know, like five grand a month. What is that? 60 grand a year. Yes. It's mm-hmm. not yeah. rich and famous. But what other jobs do you make 60 grand a year with no skills? Right. Yeah, doing it on your own time, just sitting at your computer playing yeah. something that, you know, you may say, oh, I hate this video game. It's like, okay, would you rather be doing this or working at McDonald's or renting someone a car at Hertz or whatever the fuck? Like, and how many yeah, you really didn't like better. that job. <laughs> I, I don't know what? how many hours a week he worked, too. Like, I feel like he's making 60 grand a year and you know, working less than 40 hours a week. I, I guess my appraisal was wrong. I thought he was making much less than that. I was going just based on sub numbers and kind of what uh, the activity that I saw on his stream. I thought he was more like around two grand a month, if that. When he tells people, you better fucking donate or on this stream, they do. Yeah. Why? Oh, wow, that's fascinating. He okay. cracks the right. whip and they, uh, they, they fill the coffers. He's a lion tamer. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> I, I like how there's no consideration for his loyal viewers. Like in the way he handles the stream, in that what, someone will write, you're doing great tonight, Wings, you know, $10 from, you know, whoever, 69. And then two minutes later, he'll be like, oh, man, that guy made you look awful. He, he totally out, you know, outmaneuvered you or whatever the fuck. Like, ban that guy. Ban that guy forever and ever. <laughs> if you question my gaming ability, ban it. What was the quote he said? If you question my gaming ability... Mods ban him. Anyone who questions my Anyone gaming skill, Anyone who questions my them. gaming skill, ban them. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's, like, no, it's not a way that you you foster a, a fun environment of people who want to pay you money. Right. It's the yeah. way you piss people off. Who are we yeah, to like, tell him how to make money streaming, right? I, yeah, just, I, I, I got a 1099 really. from Twitch. I made $23 last year. <laughs> you know? Damn. I should be asking him for help. Yeah. yeah, I still get my machinima checks. I haven't up- uploaded anything since 2013. And it's like, for a while, I was hoping, like, just to get below $400 so I don't have to, like, talk about this on my taxes. Because you know? <laughs> if it's any more than 400 is it it's, four at six? least anyway. in Missouri it is. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> ¶¶